What's up guys? Welcome to the second video in the series. That is a forklift going behind me, so. So, in the previous video, we've done the general concept design and we've chosen our materials and we know that we're gonna do bent lamination. So in this video, what we gotta do is create the jig or the formwork that molds those pieces together once they're glued up and then we leave them for 24 hours, take it off and then we have the final shape. Let me tell you how it's gonna go down. Okay, so here you can see the side profile of the two U-shaped pieces. Um, the next thing we need to do is create a mold for each of these components to mold the piece into that shape. So here you can see what the molds would look like. We have this larger outer piece and then this smaller inner wedge. And then this is the shape that we want to end up with. So if we push that flexible, flexible plywood into the mold and then compress this part of the jig in, you'll see that we'll be left with this cavity and we'll leave that for 24 hours with the flexible plywood inside and we should be left with this shape. And the same is done for the smaller piece. As I have some experience with bent lamination before, what I've noticed is that sometimes when you take an object out of the mold, it tends to spring back a little bit. So what I'm gonna do for these molds is angle it slightly more than 90 degrees. So I've angled it in one more degree. And the hope being that when I take it out of the mold, it should pop back to a perfect 90 degree shape. So just to give you a look at what these molds would look like, um, this is the 3D version of how we'd make them up. So it's made with a series of plywood ribs uh, that are glued together. We have the inner and the outer shape, and this is the larger mold and the smaller one. And then I'm gonna skin these with bendy plywood so we have a smooth surface. So the next step then is really to take these components apart and lay them flat on a plywood sheet so they can be cut out by the CNC. All right, so let's head over to the CNC and get cutting these out. So this is gonna be part of the shape. And basically that, we're, we're creating this piece right here. It's made out of a series of plywood ribs. So something like this, and then we have a smaller piece that goes in the middle. So we'll put layers and layers of plywood right here with glue in between them. And then we'll get another U-shape and we'll press it down and the piece is gonna be compressed inside this jig. And we'll leave it there overnight. And once we take it off, we should be able to pop out this super thin piece of laminated plywood. And that's going to be uh, how the furniture piece is gonna look like. So that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna make these jigs. We're gonna glue up the first pieces tomorrow. And uh, I'm hoping that we got everything right because making these jigs again is a real pain. Rather in terrible pain in the head, brother, sir. I'm going to bend this in and then glue it on and that's going to give you a smoother surface for the jig. Um, we were worried that the bendy ply was not going to take that curve, it might snap because it's a 90 degree curve. Um, so Hector came up with the good idea of leaving these pieces of plywood out in the rain to loosen them up and then they'll be more likely to take that curve uh, and we can glue them on and finish off the jigs. So let's see. The reason that I do two layers is we have 
four ribs in here. And if I just do one layer, it's pro I'll probably get some indentations in the, uh, in the mold. So by doing two layers, it's like rock solid. And I know I'm gonna get that even pressure on the mold. So there's a couple of things I gotta do now before I do the first lamination. I gotta sand off some of these cracks. This piece is gonna slot right in here. And then we'll get the first U-shaped piece in here. I just have to trim this excess material. So basically, the next thing I'm do, gonna do is just sand and clean these up a little bit. We'll make the first prototype and see how it turns out. Okay, so the jigs are ready to go. I sanded all the cracks down and smoothed them all out. So it's time to get laminated. Okay, did not go according to plan. A um, couple of reasons. I had have some experience bent laminating before, you've probably seen on this channel, and what I noticed is when you take something out of the mold, it tends to like spring back slightly. And you know, I thought I was being really clever, so I angled, instead of this being exactly vertical or 90 degrees, I angled it in one degree. So then when you pop it out of the mold, I thought it would just pop back that one degree and, and be 90 degrees. So, this is the piece that we got out of it, um, which kind of looks okay, but it's actually not at all. So basically what happened was, instead of this being a vertical piece with straight edges, it's more of a wedge shape like that. So the bottom is thicker than the top. And the same is true here. Here is thinner and here is wider. So if you're taking this mold and dropping it in from the top, Obviously now there's, no, there's a gap because there's no material in there, but when the material's jammed in, it's obviously not able to slide down because it's a wider piece trying to fit into a smaller gap. So I got too clever and uh, it didn't really work out. The way we were able to get this you know, half mock-up done was we actually only did it with two layers of bendy ply, which wouldn't be strong enough. Um, I need four, but we just couldn't fit it in the mold. So just in order to make something, we removed two layers, clamped it in, and uh, you know this is what we got. So, I mean, it looks cool, it seems promising, but I think what we're gonna have to do is, originally I thought I'd have to remake these molds entirely, um, which I actually may have to do for the final product, but what we're gonna do right now is cut this mold right in half, and so we'll have two L shapes, and that way we can bring bring them in and there's no problem of like fitting a wedge within to a smaller space. You can just bring the L's in and clamp it. So the next step really is trim this down and try it again. And I also noticed that this actually didn't really pop back out to 90 degrees. So I may have been getting too cute, too clever. It probably just has to be a 90 degree mold. And probably the next version will be a, a three part mold as opposed to a two part. So I think that'd be a lot easier. But you know, live and learn.